but chronic inflammation can exist without implants. But if you don't understand chronic inflammation and its ability to exist with implants, you're going to miss this problem every single day. I don't even know. Was there sort of a smoking gun or a, a breaking story or, or or someone's someone's experience that sort of woke everyone up to these this possibility of 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 implants making you sick? Actually, your story was going to do that. Oh, but it really didn't. Didn't dis, didn't didn't take people completely away from it. No, I think there's a lack of everybody's attention span is about a millisecond. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> totally. That's and the there's problem. also and there's also just just cognitive dissonance. You know, you just don't want to believe what you don't want to believe. I mean, we experience that in many different realms of reality these days. So, you know, I mean, it, I mean, yeah, sometimes there's nothing you can say. Like as a parent, you realize this, I'm sure very well, like you can say something to your kids and they still have their own idea of what they're going to do. And they sometimes have to touch the touch the hot water, you know? Of course, we all did. Let me ask real quick, because I do want to ask, because I think about like, yes, I understand there's, there's, there's vanity implants. There's, there's just aesthetic implants for breast cancer um, patients and people like that. But then there's also different kinds of implants like metal and plates and things like that. Are, do these carry the same kinds of risks? Because of course, any little piece that gets in the body, the body will form some scar tissue around it. So is it having the same action reaction? Or is it, are there some, some, some things implanted in the body that are much less concerning? Cause some of them are quite necessary, right? A knee replacement is like a, you know, standard of life, standard of just, you know, comfort of living. Yeah. I, I think, you know, I've had to work with orthopedic surgeons. I've worked with neurosurgeons, cardiac surgeons, everybody who puts in an implant will face a problem with an infection with the implant they've placed. If okay. they operate long enough, that's going to happen. You mentioned a very complicated situation. If someone gets an infected knee implant, what happens? It's a really difficult scenario for the patient, the providers. And yes, whether it's a shoulder, hip, knee, breast, they can all get a biofilm contamination.